Yeah, well, thank you, thank you, Mary, and thank you, Anne, for the for the opportunity uh, to respond. Uh, let me begin by saying that that uh, I believe we need radical change, but whether, in fact, the system is broken or not seems to me to be an open question. Um, recently, I had a look at some detail at the, uh, the position we were in in 1985, which was the worst year of the last time we got into a big mess. And my conclusion on doing that was that at that time, the problems that we faced were greater, a little bit greater than they, are, than they are now, but our capacity to deal with them was significantly less in 1985 than they are now. I think we have very significant advantages, not least the uh, much better educational attainment of a much larger labour force uh, compared to where we were um, uh, in the 1980s. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about the low tax model, that the low t we have superficially, a superficial analysis will tell you that uh, tax GDP ratio in Ireland is low, relatively low. But the idea or the, the jump that that, mean, that that implies that that means we have very poor or must have very poor public services, in my view, does not stand up to analysis. And there are a number of reasons for, that, for uh, why I say that. First of all, we spend virtually nothing on defence compared to others. Our demography is different. 11% um, of people in Ireland are over 65. I'm uh, heading rapidly that way myself. And um, compared to 16% in Germany, and that's a big driver of public expenditure. But perhaps most, most importantly is the way we finance our pensions is very different to most European countries. They usually finance them to the tax line and we don't. And that makes a big difference. So I, uh, you know, I'd be much more demanding of our public services. We should be getting very good public services for the tax we are paying. And if we're not, it's not that we're not spending enough money, it's we're not getting the the, the effectiveness and the efficiency out of it. Looking at, 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 say, the example of the corporation tax, the corporation tax uh, rate is, is very low, but we have the widest corporation tax base in Europe, courtesy of Ray McSharry's reforms in the late 80s. And as a result, we raise more in corporation tax relatively than Finland, France and Germany, despite our low rate. Now, I do agree with, I do strongly agree with Mary that two of the, the central problems we have with our current system is poor accountability uh, and poor implementation or low executive capacity. I think these are two central defects that we need to, that we need to look at. Um, we have low expertise in the executive arm in the civil service generally. The civil service model seems to me to be still very much informed by the North Cotrevelian report of 1854. I said 1854, that's not a I didn't mean 1954, it's 1854. But that said, if you get a good chap with a first-class honours in Greek from Cambridge and, and he's bright, he can do anything. The gifted amateur, and we still have very much uh, in our executive uh, the gifted amateur syndrome. There is a low value on expertise. Um, experts have to be watched. And that's, uh, they do have to be watched, but not by gifted amateurs. Um, <laughs> We also have very poor accountability, and I think this is the central issue. Uh, we have poor accountability because the, the executive, the government, controls the doyle. Or, and if it doesn't control the doyle, it stops being the government. So therefore, the doyle cannot be uh, terribly probing, or as probing as it should be, uh, of, of, of executive action. And that's why I and, and John Roden, and, uh, who was in the audience, in 1986 uh, argued, having thought a lot about this, that the central reform we needed was a separation of powers model because we needed to uh, get greater expertise in government that, you know, you could get your ministers anywhere, but they couldn't be in the doyle. And, and, that's, that's, uh, and I still believe that. I'm still crazy after, after all these years. Now, the, uh, and it was, it was quite encouraging for me yesterday to, yeah, 30 seconds, I'll be there. Is Michal Martin uh, seemed to uh, go along with that yesterday. Now, can we get real reform rather than cosmetic things like reducing the number of TDs? That just diminishes the pool of expertise from which you pick your ministers. I think the jury is out on that. And, uh, you know, the pessimist in me says we may get cosmetic reform rather than the real and radical reform that we really need. Thank you very much.